Here are six useful Photoshop brushes for beauty retouching that you don't think you need. Starting with the eyeliner brush. So if you want to add eyeliners to this image, all I have to do, I'm going to be using the Williams Academy. So I'm going to open this my Williams Academy and just click on eyeliner right here. Once you click on eyeliner, it's going to show you different eyeliner brushes you can choose from to use your image. So for example, you can choose to use this or you can select this and choose to use this if this is what you want to use. But I'm going to be using this. So once I select it, I'm just going to resize it to fit my image. Let this work for me. I'm going to click OK. So from here, I'm just going to make it fit. To do that, I want to press a Command T to put the transform tool and just try to resize it until I feel it's OK. So maybe like this works for me. And I'm going to right click, click on Distort and just move this part down a little bit. Maybe move this part up a little bit until I feel it's OK. So like this works for me, I'm going to hit OK. Now from here, you can choose to change the color. Now let's say I want to change the color to face the lips, all right? I'm going to like click on this place right here and just change the color to fit the lips. So like this works for me. Or I can just sample the color of the lips and just make it dark a little bit like so. From what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch my brush to back to soft hand brush, all right? And just zoom in and just remove it to where I don't want it to affect. So if I zoom in, you can see it's affecting the eyes. I don't want it to affect the eyes. I'm just going to click on the layer mask. Make sure I'm using a black brush, a soft hand brush, opacity 100, fluid set 100, and just paint on where I don't want it to affect. So I'm going to remove it from this part right here because I don't want it to affect this particular part right here. All right. Now for me, what I'm going to do, if I want to apply it to this other eyes, I'm going to press a Command J to just duplicate it. Click on Command C, move it to this other part. All right. And just flip it right here. Or I can right click and just flip it horizontally like this and i can just arrange it to fit these other eyes so like this works i'm going to hit ok now you can see the edges are sharp now to make it look even more realistic what you can do just click on the layer mask click on these properties and just feather it so immediately feather it, it's going to be kind of blurry all right and from here you can just reduce the opacity a little bit all right so i'll do the same for this other one just blow it a little bit reduce the opacity all right some little group let's see the before and after this is the before and the after the before and the after you can see how good this image is looking already so that is one brush you think you don't need as a beauty retoucher or as a beauty photographer the number two brush you think you don't need is the cash light brush so for the cash light brush let's say we want to add cash light to our image all you have to do is come to this Williams Academy again Click on catch lights and you have different catch lights to choose from. So let's try this one and see. So I'm going to reduce my brush size to make it fit the image. All right, let this work. So I'm just going to paint like this. It's just going to add the catch lights to this image. You can see, see the before and the after. The before and the after. And from here, you can just reduce the opacity if you think it's too much. Now, if you want to add catch light to these other eyes, you can either duplicate it and just flip it or you can click on this one right here, this left, and you're just going to select the left, and you can just reduce your brush size to paint on these other eyes like this to add the catch light. And if you don't want it to affect some part of the eyes, you can just switch back to a soft hand brush. Make sure your foreground color is set to black, all right, and just remove it from where you don't want it to affect like that, all right. Also, the same thing for this part. And from here, if you feel it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity of the layer to make it look realistic. So, see the before and the after. So, like I said, there are different catch lights you can choose from. Another brush you need as a retoucher in general, even if you are not a beauty retoucher, is the eyebrows brush. So, if you look at this image, you can see the eyebrows are not looking really good. To fix it, all I have to do is click on this Williams Academy again and just click on brows right here. Once I click on brows, I'm going to click on continue. For me, you're going to sample any color you want the brows to be. So, I'm going to use black. I'm going to hit on Okay, immediately I do that, it's going to select brows for us. So I can just resize these brows. And if I click once, it's just going to add brows to this image. So as you can see, but I don't like this one. I'm going to select another one. So I'm going to use this one right here and just resize it to make it fit. All right, like this works. So I'm going to click once. Once I click once, you can see we've added brows to this image. See the before and the after. And if it is not enough, you can just duplicate it by pressing Command J. 
to duplicate it. You can just merge these two bars together with the first one selected. Hold Ctrl or Command, click on the second one, press or Command E to merge. And from here, we can just press or Command C to put the transform tool and just to size it if you feel it's too small or too big, like so, to make it fit the existing brows right there. So I think like this works for me. Also, I'm going to right click and just click on this warp tool and just try to warp it until I feel it's okay for me. All right, so I think like this works for me. I'm going to click on OK. Now, if you don't want it to affect some areas or you want to remove it or reduce it, what you can do, switch back to your normal brush tool. So I'm going to click on my soft hand brush. All right. Add the layer mask. Once I add the layer mask, I'll make sure my foreground color is set to black. And if I paint right now, it's just going to remove that brush from where I don't want it to affect, as you can see. And also what you can do, if you feel it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity like so. And if you want to apply it to these other eyes, what you can do, just press your command J to duplicate it, press your command T to put the transform tool and just right click and flip horizontally and just move it to this part to add it to these other eyebrows. And from here, you can make more adjustments by right clicking, click on the warp tool and just warp it to fit these other eyebrows right here. All right, so let this works. Let's see the before and after for the eyebrows. Let me just group it. See the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see how good this image is looking already. And if you feel it's looking too much, you can just reduce the opacity. And you have different brows to choose from, different brushes to choose from. You can see how amazing this tool actually is. Now that useful brush is the iris brush. Let me show you how you can use that. So to use the iris brush, just click on this iris right here. I'm just going to show you to choose any iris brush you want. So there are different iris brush you can choose from to so just play with the options you have and see whichever one works for you. So let's use this one. I'm just going to zoom in. So I'm going to reduce the brush size to make it fit the iris. I'm just going to click once. I'm just going to fit the iris. I'm going to come to this other side, click once again, and it's just going to fit the iris for me. Now what you can do, if you want to change the color, you can click on this iris right here on the layer mask, this iris right here, and just click again. All right. So we'll come to this other one, click again, like so. Now to change the color, you can just double click on this blue right here and just play with the hue. I'm just going to change the colors for you, as you can see. Now if you want to remove it from the areas you don't want it to affect, all right? With this layer mask selected, this white layer mask, pick your normal brush tool, all right? Once you pick your normal brush tool, make sure your foreground color is set to black and just remove it from areas you don't want it to affect or where you don't want it to affect like that. So just play with it and see how it works for you. Now, see the before and the after. And if you still want to change the color, you can just come to the color and just play with the color once you think it's okay. All right. And if you feel it's too much, you can come to the opacity, the overall opacity, and just reduce the opacity like so. All right. So, see the before and the after. The before and the after. Another really useful brush is the lashes brush. So, to use the lashes brush, Let's say you are working on an image that has less lashes. What you can do, just click on this Williams Academy again and click on Lash right here. Once you click on Lashes, you're just going to open the Lashes brush. And you can select any lashes that work with your image. So if I want to use I can use this one. If I also want to use this one, I can use this one. But let's just use this one right here. I think this one is going to work. So I'm going to reduce my brush size. Okay. So once I reduce my brush size to actually fit around to apply these lashes on, I can just click once like this i'm just going to add the lashes for me so see the before and the after anything is not enough you can just duplicate it by pressing your command j to make it look even more visible all right now let me just merge these two lashes layer together by pressing your command e so see the before and the after the before and the after and if you want to apply it to these other eyes what you can do you can just duplicate it again by pressing your command j once you press your command j just press your command c Right click, click on flip horizontal and just drag it to this other eyes right here. And from here, you can just move it the way you want to make it look even more realistic. All right, so let this work for me. I'm going to click on OK. Now, what if you don't want it to affect some areas or you want to remove it from, from a particular area? What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a layer mask. Once I add a white layer mask, pick my soft hand brush tool. All right, once I select my soft hand brush tool, so let's say I want to remove it from this part. I don't want to affect this part. I want to use a black brush. Make sure my formula color is set to black. Opacity set to 100, flow set to 100. 
And if I pinch right now, you can see I'm just removing those lashes. While if I want to bring it back, I can just switch to a white brush and just bring back those lashes. All right. So you can choose to remove it from where you don't want it to affect like that. But I think like this works for me. Let me just go with the lashes so you can see. See the before and the after. And the last useful Photoshop brush we're going to be talking about is the focus brush. So this is the focus brush. Just click on this film so I can in there again. Click on focus right here. And it's just going to open the focus brush for you. And there are different focus you can choose from. So just choose anyone that works for you. So let's choose this one. So I'm going to reduce my brush size to actually fit. All right. So let's say like this works for me. I'm going to just dab once. Once I dab once, it's going to add focus to our image. Now you can do this multiple times, but I think one works for me. So I'm going to undo this and just work with this first one. Now for me, if I want to modify it, I can just switch back to my soft round brush. All right. And if I want to remove it from some areas, I can just use a black brush and remove it from where I don't want it to affect. Now, let's say I don't want it to affect this part of the cheek. If I just come to my layer mask and just paint, it's going to remove it from that part of the cheek. All right. Also, from here, what you can do, if you feel it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity a little bit. All right. So, this works. Now, let's see the before and after. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. Now, if you want to get these brushes and this panel, I'll leave a link where you can get it in the description below of this video. I'm going to take you to this website right here. So you can choose to buy the brushes individually or the lashes individually. But if you want to get the brushes, the lashes and the panel together in one place, just click on this bundle D right here and just scroll the way down and you are going to see the panel right here. So you are going to buy this first one right here if you want to get everything. But if you want only the panel, you can choose to buy this one right here. So check the link share below of this video. And if you want to learn how to use the Ulebs Academy to edit your image from start to finish, check out this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.